Item number SCP-5735. Index Mystery 32-2104. Object class safe. Explained partial. Special containment procedures. SCP-5735 is to be kept in a standard anomalous item locker at Site-19. Testing of object is permitted for all personnel with approval from Site Director. Containment procedures irrelevant as of 4-7-2104. See Addenda. Description. SCP-5735 is a DVD that appears to be for a movie named Mystery 32. A post-it note is attached to the disc, reading... Proof of the impossible. I hope. Zyank. In a black permanent marker. No records of a movie named Mystery 32 exist. When the DVD is played, subjects report experiencing the movie with all five senses, with the sensory input of the main character directly stimulating the viewer's body, save for vision, which is experienced in the same manner as a non-anomalous movie. The movie's plot centers around the life of a blind man with the uncontrollable ability to create miraculous and mysterious events around him. The movie encourages viewers to experience the movie twice, once with eyes closed and the second time with eyes open, to further the message of the film. As the man is unable to see the 31 miracles he is responsible for, save for the titular Mystery 32 occurring at the moment of his death, his sight is restored. Investigation into the properties of SCP-5735 is ongoing, with the hope of assisting in the training of MTF members. Dr. Thaddeus Zayank is currently under investigation, but denies knowledge of the disc or its point of origin. Discovery SCP-5735 was discovered at Site-19 on 8-3-18, and was seen manifesting from empty space by multiple guards and researchers. Witnesses frequently describe a swelling vortex, three-dimensional hole, or words to the effect. Foundation security footage corroborates witness testimony, with the disc appearing out of a black, unstable spherical mass. Addendum 1-6-11-72 Due to recent advances in technology, the first full sensory film, or feely, was released in cinemas. The anomalous effects of SCP-5735 have been found to be identical to the technology employed in this form of media, and as such, SCP-5735 has been assigned, explained, partial, classification. It is still unknown how SCP-5735 materialized at Site-19 on 8-3-18. Addendum 2-36-104. Email from Head of Temporal Anomalies Department to Director of Site-19. From PCS Noitadorf 10 Pix HD4, Etkene HD number, PCS Noitadorf 10 Pix HD4, Etkene XD. To PCS Noitadorf 10 Pix 91 Rotsa ID, number PCS Noitadorf 10 Pix 91 Rotsa ID. Subject SCP 5735. Date 36104. So, I'm sure you remember our little mystery film, 5735, yes? Well, the rest of the Temporal Department and I have been puzzling over this thing recently, since it just came out in cinemas. Long story short, we think we may have sent it back to the past. You've no doubt heard of a causal loop, or the bootstrap paradox. The billiard ball from the future, time travelling back to hit itself into the time tunnel, yada yada, giving the collected works of Shakespeare to a younger version of the Bard. Those sorts of paradoxes kind of an antithesis to the grandfather paradox. Well, we think it's the same scenario here. We've just recently finished our little time tunnel project, so we hypothesize that in the original permutation of this scenario, I, or someone else, went out and bought a copy of Mystery 32 to send back to the past. The Foundation deems it an anomaly, holds onto it, and we get the same sequence of events that have transpired in this universe over the last 90 years with this movie giving us the motivation to work on time travel technology. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just break the loop? Well, quite simply put, we just can't because the loop has already been established. That mythical starting point of our little loop has been and gone. And short of travelling through the ninth dimension, 
we'll never be able to get to the version of reality where we started the loop. We have an obligation to send this movie back and inspire the past foundation. Otherwise, our time tunnel will never exist. Therefore, we cannot send the movie back. And we basically break the past. So, I guess what that means is that sooner or later we have to send this baby back. So, why not make it our time machine's maiden voyage? It's strange. My dad used to talk about GG and what he did for the Foundation back then. He was their best temporal researcher, and I get to send him a message through time. I hope he'll realize what it means. That time travel is possible. That time travel into the past is possible. It's like the holy grail of time travel, and my GG's going to get proof. I wish I could write more than what was originally on the sticky note. Tell him how he inspired me. Hell, even just explain this whole time loop thing to him. But I have to keep the loop perfect. Also, that involves lugging the time tunnel into the Site-19 courtyard, so I'll need some strong people to help me out with that. Why the original version of me couldn't have been lazier, I'll never know. In the meantime, if you guys wanted a movie night so we can watch this damn thing before it goes back, I'll bring the popcorn. Also, I think I can convince Treble to come, even if she is a little unruly. Supposedly, it's really good. One of those low-budget art house films that look low-tech, but are really good. It'll be fun. P.S. If you know anyone who's into antiques, I kind of need a Sharpie pen and an old-school sticky note. Senior researcher Dahlia Zayank. Head of Temporal Anomalies, Site 19.